Hello there everybody, Embrix here with another LEGO set review. This is from uh, LEGO Marvel Super Heroes uh, from the MCU Captain America Civil War. This set came back, uh, uh, came out back in 2016. It is set number 76067. I love cool set numbers like that. And it is the Tanker Truck Takedown. Love the name, kind of like the Sanctum Sanctorum Showdown. Moving the figures, which are great by the way. Uh, we're going to move them out of the way, but focus on this Tanker Truck. So the tanker truck looks good. Yeah, that that looks really good. All that, the cab section has four wheels. So when you uh, take off the tanker part, it can drive around. That's where the tanker part kind of connects. And then it, I like how like they thought of modifying this, like with other trailers that have ball joints, you can attach that here. That's nice. You have a fire extinguisher. Hmm, maybe fire will happen. You know, it is a tanker truck, but you never know. But I doubt it, you know, and fire does happen, you got the superheroes. But anyway, you can take this off. And by the way, it seems like any time like they want the civilians to do it themselves, they include a fire hydrant, like in the Sanctum, uh, Sanctum Showdown. But no actual window back there, but I think that's just fine. And you got the kind of print and a little seat, but no driver included. Surprisingly enough, the kind of license plate is not actually the set number like usual. Someone tell me if you know that reference. Pause it right there and then tell me in the comments down below. And yeah, pretty simple. The taker section uh, attaches here. You got some kind of glass pieces to kind of fold it together, transfer it. And then two wheels. And But there's nothing to do with this. I have no idea why it was in a superhero set. Oh wait, maybe. That's why. <laughs> Yeah, you can make this thing explode. And yeah, I showed you the good side. On the back, it looks very nice. It has the Roxxon tickets, which by the way, watch Jacob's uh, review of the Ferrari from this year. He uh, explains about stickers and it, it was really nice. But anyway, they put a sticker telling you to turn this. That's just, that ruins the look though. With modification, you can easily dial that down. But here's what I love about this. When this opens, fire erupts up. The roof splits in two and the back just pops off. And you can see the fire in there and a bunch of kind of a uh, transparent orange pieces. And if you take the fire out, you could fit a bunch of figures in there. Yeah, kind of uh, make this a troop transport maybe, you know, sideways without weapons. Yeah, that would work. And I like how it doesn't open all the way because then you could like slam a figure into it like that. Like what they suggest you do is, um, Use a super jumper. Mm, those do damage figure legs, so beware. Watch my t uh, tips and tricks video to find out how it doesn't. But basically, uh, just I'm gonna show you without a figure, but it does that, yeah. So you push down on it and it goes up pretty high. But anyway, yeah, the thing closes up, and I love how the roof is uneven. Like usually it's so noticeable, but it's uneven, so that is great. And then you can that, uh, attach this piece back here. So yeah, a great primary build. I said primary because there's a side build. Hey, that's nice. You see Vision's cape right here, so let's use him. All the uh, super uh, jumper things, they say to use with Spider-Man for some reason. Like They say to use that to close the Tinker Truck um, roof uh, and for this. Basically, if you hit on that, the... That happens, yeah, that falls, and then these rocks on canisters full of fuel would go everywhere and then explode. These two are included in the set. Um, nice use of just a handful of pieces, so good on LEGO for doing that. Just, uh, again, a great set in general. And they include a dirt bike, so again, a nice inclusion, and in purple. Uh, they say use it for Hawkeye because he's purple, and you got a sticker with the Avengers logo, so yeah, that is just it's fun to use and figures though here's something i don't like in the first bag uh you build um captain america and hawkeye which is what we're looking at in captain america civil war they fight on the same side and i know a lot of kids they build a bag then take a break but they want to play with the figures but you can't really have these fighting against each other unless of course you use your imagination but if you're playing in movie it would be nice to get like in the first bag these two sorry excuse me and then in the second bag hawkeye and then in the third bag vision but um yeah anyway um just a nitpick something i did not notice is on hawkeye those are the same legs as black widow from the avengers infinity war uh, battle pack i didn't previously note that because i pre i didn't previously know that 
but that torso print that is so great look at all the little stitch marks and zipping oh my god that is gold right there he has a sleeveless arm as well a nice connecticut bow um face print there even that back torso printing that's so great with the quiver and all and then a happy face which by the way captain america civil war sets the third dollar one with kind of black panther i think it was black panther jet pursuit it has that same face print for Captain America when he's not in his mask. But you got Captain America's shield right there. I feel like it should be darker. That's good for the comics, but not for the MCU. I think they should have um, used um, not a red color as they um, are using here. I think that was the wrong uh, choice, but this kind of maroon color. Well, I just would have, I don't know, just a suggestion. Maybe they did try it out. I don't know, but uh, no uh, leg printing. Good torso print. Very nice, actually good back print the face though ah, i wish they had his actual face print underneath as i said in the lego discussion like they should have a molded helmet piece like for iron man that you put on top of this so you can get that face print uh here we have two more figures and you might want to duck so Iron Man cheating at us that's using a stud with a bar at the end and then a hole to fit this nice web piece very nice inclusion though i wish um in my opinion, out of all the web accessories, not including the 2019 ones, at the time, uh, the best one was the kind of string web accessory because you could grab onto figures and stuff like that. But um, yeah, just personal opinion. Vision and Spider-Man. This is like the ultimate figure pack. Vision is just so striking among figures. He looks great with that, that uh, kind of sand green and maroon. He has that infinity stone in his head. The cape is kind of translucent. See how it lets my finger or light through it? And it's the new style, so it can easily flip up to reveal nice back torso printing. Spidey, um, I made a mistake. In Spider-Man Homecoming, here's a figure that's not included in the set, obviously. I said that it was the same one as the one in Civil War. It's not. And the one difference is that spider. You see, that spider is thinner, has eight legs. This spider is fatter, and it has, like four legs like that so that is the difference everything else is the same just the spider they changed out which is wow thank you lego like it was so great oh yeah and the spider at the back i should have noticed that one but thank you lego like it was so great originally just to get this spider-man that is just amazing but then they even changed it slightly for the homecoming sets that that is just so great why couldn't they do anything good for iron spider without arm printing or stuff like that or was it dual molded legs? Yeah, dual molded legs. But yeah, that's it for these two great figures. But yeah, that is it for this video. And I hope you liked it. And just some quick thoughts before I go though. A great set if you haven't noticed that I like it already. $30 for four amazing figures. Captain America who's so popular. A great Hawkeye with that awesome torso. Vision who's kind of hard to get. Spider-Man, where this was the only way to get him and still is the only way to get this version of him. An amazing play feature where a bit of modification and you can easily fit this into a city and an awesome side build with just a handful of pieces. And then you even have, um, you just have so much here. Like you even have that kind of dirt bike. But yeah, that is it for this video. And I hope you liked it. And if you did, please subscribe, leave a comment down below and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.